Welcome to Fun Factory Gaming. You probably know that this is a misconception. The Middle Ages are not called Dark Ages because the time was particularly bad, but... Oh, never mind. No one is interested in how much the new doom the Dark Ages is rooted in reality. At least I'm not. I'm only interested in the fact that the brilliant reboot from 2016 and its even stronger sequel are actually being continued. Doom is back and it's coming next year on PC, and of course Xbox since ID Software now belongs to Microsoft, and, and amazingly PlayStation 5. This time, it's about the prequel to the current Doom generation. About the Doom Slayer, who was often mentioned in the last two games but never seen live. In fact, the Dark Ages is supposed to tell his origin story. How he became the legend the talking history book later narrates. He travels in a world reminiscent of dark fantasy adventures with dark castles, dark colors, and dark times because they are threatened by demons. Among them are familiar creatures as well as fresh new ones. Fortunately, Mr. Slayer not only rides in a mech but also travels by dragon. The trailer shows what it looks like when ID Software creates the ultimate Hellwalker. The super shotgun is, of course, included. He throws the jagged shield like a chainsaw. A macabre mill grinds skulls into handy projectiles, a powerful kick disrupts enemy guts, and the heavy metal music trembles with a cannon of rapid-fire laser shots. Typical Middle Ages. But I also view this martial curiosity cabinet somewhat wistfully, because it seems to shelve the fantastic acrobatics of the outstanding Doom Eternal, and approaches things much more grounded. And I love this acrobatic spectacle. Instead, now there are powerful stompers that round off a high jump with a deadly shockwave and a brutal shove with a shield. All cool moves, but with rather ordinary special attack character. The trailer also shows no glory kills, where neon-colored fountains burst from severed demons. Instead, the Slayer uses his shield to block shots. Okay, that was already there, but only as a secondary function of a specifically modified weapon. In other words, is the tactically valuable push-forward motif missing this time? I can't imagine ID Software would completely eliminate this signature element and settle for a narrow version of its groundbreaking success series with Doom the Dark Ages. Not to mention that the HUD was not shown, so important information is still under wraps. The last paragraphs sound much darker than they are meant to. It's just a bit of the wistfulness that an eternal fan feels trying to come to light. Actually, I think it's really great that IT Software is not just mixing Eternal 2.0, but apparently daring something new again. The industry desperately needs that, and my faith in the creative power of imaginative minds. I am looking forward to the prequel. It can't be worse than the third game of the last Doom generation. And despite all its weaknesses, that was still a better shooter than much of what the video game world otherwise produced. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to be informed about future videos.